from this, we see that the answer to the question is, no, you do not wait till you memorize the Quran. You don't wait till you know the Arabic language. You don't wait until you know the Sunnah, all of the different Hadiths. You know one ayah, you go to work on it. Then if they ask you any other question though, that's when you go to somebody else. This is why you have an organization, you work together. You have people in your organization that know more than other people. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually very strong dawah to bring people to a gathering where you have three or four people sitting, five people sitting together talking about Islam and the dawah. And then let other people meet other people, share ideas, talk back and forth. And you, inevitably you'll see more shahadas that way than anything. So your group structure is very, very important. This idea of doing it all on your own, that never was like Islam. The companions would meet somebody, talk to them what they might know, and immediately start bringing them up to meet other companions or meet Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi and get their questions answered directly. Now, what do we have to provide for you? In our efforts, in our Dawah organization, we're international. We really are truly an international organization because we are in every single country on the planet. There's no country that can even start up today except I'll be in there tomorrow. Alhamdulillah. You know why? Because it's on the internet. <laughs> you can't get away from it. The other is television. We're all over the place. But there's no interaction with TV except click, click, you know, next channel. But on the internet, we have big interaction. 24 hours a day, we're offering broadcast audio, radio, television, videos are there for them and look at what they can do. Go to www.chatislam.com This is not a normal chat room and it says so right on the front page when you get there and there are 11 different boxes you have to check before you can get into it. These are agreements that you're making. In each case, you're saying that you're going to cooperate with us and not violate these rules. You will come in and use your own first name. Ladies, you can say Um Muhammad or Um, you know, whoever. You don't have to give your first name if you don't want to. Same for the brothers, you can be Abu, whoever your son is. But the main thing is we don't want people coming in with names like X, Y, Z, one, two, three, and things like this would like you to use the same name and this will build a credibility between you and the other people in there. Initially when you enter the only people going to be able to see you are the moderators and monitors. If there are none there the other people really don't see what you're typing. They know you're there but they might be trying to tell you something but you're not going to know and they won't know what you said either. You might say well that's strange. Well it has a purpose. This means nobody can come in and say anything to you in a bad way. Nobody can hurt your feelings and you can't do it to them either. You can't attack people's religions or beliefs and nobody can attack you either. It's very nice. All volunteers and moderators have been with us for a while. They're volunteers like yourself coming in, looking around, seeing what's going on. I like to be part of it. And then you get a status of moderator or monitor and then you can come in and you can see what everybody's doing. And you can answer basic question like, where can I get more information? You can show them this or this or this, but you don't answer questions. The only ones that can answer the questions are the scholars. Scholars are in red letters. Their names are in red letters. They can see everything that's going on they also can broadcast through the television that we have on there. You can actually see them or hear them. Some of them don't choose to be on television, but you'll be able to hear them and their speeches, whatever they're giving. You'd be surprised how effective this is. Somebody could say, well, when are you going to have a live program? I want to come and ask some questions. You know, okay, look at the right side of the screen and you'll see as it's going by, Who's going to be on at what time? We have ladies' classes. You have a password for that particular class. And we have rooms. There are about seven or eight rooms that we have. The main room is where you always start out at. But then when there are special classes for 
Salam Al Amri, Muhammad Said Adli, Yasser Qadi, Bilal Phillips, Mutahir Sabri, and myself and others. It will tell you when we're going to be on. And Sister Noha, Sister Khadija, and so on. All of them, they'll have their schedules posted and you can join the classes. The cost of this is borne by us. We pay for it. Well, I don't say it's free because it's sure not free to me. But it's no cost to the visitors. This is beautiful. Now there's no advertising, no commercials. Nobody can come in the room and start giving commercials or even a link. If anybody posts a link, they're out. Even if it's to one of my own websites. We don't allow posting links. You're wasting your time anyway because the only one going to see it is the moderator, monitor, and the teachers. Now some teachers like me, when I go in, I open it up so that people can see what each other are typing. Because I want them to see what's going on. But if they get out of line, I lock it back up again and don't let them continue. This is a very unique situation. And as far as I know, the only one like it. Another point about this chat room is you don't have to download anything. You don't download anything. You just go click and it works. Pal talk, you have to install stuff on your computer. It's not going to work in a public computer. You're not going to do it at a library or at an airport. You can't do it. But anywhere that anybody gets access in the world, to the internet, they can come in and watch this and enjoy it, benefit from it. It also works with real slow connections. It works slow, but it works. And that's important. It offers 24 hours a day links to Islam. You'll see at the top of the page, it says Allah, Quran, Muhammad, and so on. Those few links will take you to websites and will not leave the website chat room. It keeps it there for you, opens it up in another page, and you can go to that and enjoy all of what you want to do there. But when you close it, you're right back with your chat room again. And if you're listening to something and you click a link and you go to something else, you can still hear this while you're looking at something else. Often I put up some pages, for instance, I'm talking about the Qur'an. I will send you to allahsquran.com slash read and you will be right there ready to click and see what I'm talking about. Or if we want you to hear it, allahsquran.com slash listen. Maybe I'm going to be talking about Allah. I will send them to godallah.com and they'll be able to see what we're talking about there. This is why I say that we're already all over the world. It's totally international and we have people in every country. If you want to be a volunteer, all you got to do is just do it. You can immediately start getting reward right this second, right now where you are, right now, by making dua for it to be successful. Say, Allah, make me part of this and make me successful with it. Even if you don't live long enough to get back to your car, you have the reward for it. Because of niya. This is how beautiful this whole operation is. And we do have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of volunteers and people coming in and out to this website every day. It has a very high ranking on the internet. And it should because if anybody said, well, I want to do some chatting with Muslims, let me put in Google. I'll type in the words chat and Islam. Well, what do you think is going to come up first? Our website. And second, another of my websites recommending it. And third, another one of my, ref and it goes like this. So if you want to link to it with other websites, you're welcome to do that too. This will help your website because what you link to, you know, people linking to your website increases your status, but also the ones you choose to link to will either increase or decrease your status. Never link to losing websites. Ooh, because it takes you down. Did you know that? Yeah, well, you want to be sure to link to the winners. That's why on, on my big one, it's called Links to Islam. It links to all of my stuff. Some of mine are, are you know, start out really low. They will start low. How, how are they going to get up? I need something to get them going. So I put them on Links to Islam. 
But it won't take links to slam down because at the bottom of the page I'm linking to Google and Yahoo and AOL and MSN right across the bottom. So whatever that might take me down, the other ones will kick it back up again. So I don't lose my status. It's another trick to know in, the, in this game is what not to link to, what to link to, where to put it on the page, a lot of things like this.